another video on sample proportions here and before we start talking about this one we really need to look at where we've been and when it comes to sample proportions we've looked at small population small sample kind of question so let's say you've got 10 things in a bucket and you take a sample of four things that's a very small population 10 and a very small sample four now in that instance you want to use um, uh, essentially a tree diagram without replacement because you're pulling four things out of the hat so this is an example of one of those small population small sample kind of questions the staff room has a population of 10 people six right handed four left handed take a random sample of four people and you can do that with a tree diagram with out replacement also talked about a large population small sample kind of question so let's say you've got the population of australia 25 million people and you want to take a sample of five people that is a large population but only a very small sample now because you're dealing with a very large sample you can essentially treat it as a binomial distribution because the probability of picking someone out doesn't change all that much just because you picked one person out of the 25 million and this is an example that i've done before on a large population small sample 25 million people five people and then figure out the distribution of people who have a pet. All right, so we're gonna treat that as a binomial distribution, but what about this next type of um, sampling? What about large population, large sample? So what if there's, the population is Australia, 25 million people, but what if you have some resources and you don't just survey five people, you survey 10,000 people? Well. We can still treat it as a binomial distribution, but what we know about binomial distributions is that for large experiments, we can essentially approximate them using the normal distribution. We'll jump into an example here. Assume that 60% of people, humans across the world, have a driver's license. That's a large population. Using the normal approximation, find the approximate probability that in a randomly selected sample of size 200, that's a large sample, more than 65% of people have a driver's license. Now, um, the distribution of samples when we pick 200 people. Now, technically, if we're picking a sample of 200 people, maybe none of them have a driver's license. Very unlikely, but it's possible. Maybe all of them have a driver's license. And um, in any case, what's going to happen is we're going to end up with a normal distribution or a roughly approximately normal distribution like that now what's the mean of our normal distribution going to be well the mean is going to be equal to the population mean um, and we've done that before when we've done sample proportions mean and standard deviations uh, somewhere around here and so you should remember that the mean of the sample proportion will be equal to uh, the mean of the population, which is 0.6. Okay. Now, what about the standard deviation of the sample proportion? Well, the standard deviation of the um, popular of the um, sample proportion is going to be equal to the square root of p q over n, where p is um, the proportion in the population. Q is 1 minus that, and N is the number of people in our sample. So that's going to be equal to the square root of 0.6 times 0.4 over N, which is uh, 200. And that is going to give us our standard deviation. Okay, and here is our standard deviation here of 0 0.0346. Um, now what we want is to find... Um, Using the normal approximation, find the approximate probability that in a randomly selected sample of size 200, more than 65% of people have a driver's license. So we're looking for the probability that the sample proportion is greater than 0 0.65. All right, and from here, we're just gonna use our uh, calculator to find our answer. So I'm in stat mode, I'll go in there now, distribution, uh, it's a normal distribution, um, and we're going to look for a normal CD. Now the uh, lower value, uh, we want to be greater than 0 0.65, so that's going to be my lower value, 
my upper value, I'm just going to put a big number in the upper value. All right, and I need a mean and a standard deviation. Now my standard deviation is 0 0.034641 something. And my mean is um, 0.6 because that's the population mean. And I get a nice little drawing here with a population uh, with a probability of 0 0.07445. Okay, there's our answer there. Um, you can see it drawn on my little normal distribution, 0.65. The probability of it being above that is quite low. When I take a very large sample size of 200, say, that sample size, provided it's representative of the population, is has a high probability of being close to whatever the actual population is and has a low probability of being much higher, say, 0.65 or greater instead of closer to 0.6. In an exam situation, you'd obviously take whatever it is from your calculator that you've entered and cut and paste that into your exam. So write it down here so they know what you've done to come to that answer so you can get partial marks if you make some sort of silly error in the process. Um, all right, so hopefully you get an understanding that we've worked on binomial probability, we've worked on um, normal distributions, this is uh, a very specific example of using normal distribution uh, to approximate a binomial probability. In this case, taking a sample and figuring out uh, the sample proportion or the most likely or what the probability of getting a certain sample probability would be.